Hey, what is up guys, Colossnex here, and today I have a bit of a different video just for the sake of Valentine's Day. Let's talk about love. Having a strong heart is definitely good for your health, and uh, I think that there's a bit of wisdom in it, especially in, you know, in the psychological aspect. Video on that guy next week. But there's a psychological component to being in love, falling in love, falling out of love, that I really find interesting. And it ties in a lot with the kind of psychological stuff that I talk about on this channel. So why not? Let's do it. Let's talk. Let's talk love. To use an analogy, the heart is a muscle. It's a very powerful, strong muscle. If we look at it that way, it's kind of like any other muscle. Because when we micro tear our muscles, they grow back a little bit stronger. So I'm not saying to literally tear your heart. I'm just saying that when you go through experiences in life, you grow from them. So this this kind of ties into leaving your comfort zone, all those different things. Sometimes you got to really put yourself out there. You got to expect failure. Failure is going to come. People are going to turn you down. Stuff isn't going to work out. You might be in a beautiful relationship for six months that just goes south. And uh, that's okay because you learn a lot about yourself and what you want from other people. You don't get that if you don't ever try, right? If you don't ever try to date new people, if you don't ever try to, I don't know. Test the waters, put yourself out there. And I know it can be scary or intimidating to commit yourself to one person for a long time, but really, it's how you learn, right? It's how you grow. You know, some people, they're lucky. They meet their high school sweetheart and they get married and they're set for life, but that doesn't work for everybody. That's not the reality for most people. So let's not, <laughs> let's not talk about luck. Let's talk about what's practical for most people. Sometimes you gotta get your heart stomped on. Sometimes you gotta go out there and you gotta get it ripped to pieces. Sometimes you're gonna find the person that you think is the right person and they're gonna destroy you. They're gonna rip you apart at the end, but that's gonna make you grow and you're gonna grow a lot from it as a person. So I'm not saying to now go date everybody you can, date as many people as possible. Don't be afraid to apply yourself, I guess, and to commit yourself to somebody and, and really commit to it. I'm not talking about weekend flings with you know in the summer or like going to the bar for a one night thing i'm not talking about that i mean really committing yourself to one person you learn so much about yourself and your values which is the most important thing what everything comes down to your values what you think is important and how you will find the person you want to spend the rest of your life with what works for this is my opinion okay <laughs> i've been married for like two years so i'm not some kind of love guru here i just think that what is the most important and what can hold relationships together? He fell off the couch. He's just spooked. Hey buddy. Hmm? Anyway, I was saying that values are what can hold your relationship together like glue. It's what makes sure you're both in the same direction, on the same page, and uh, it can help you get through tough times. So the point of all this is that you won't really know until you apply yourself. It's all those other psychological things we've talked about. It's it's uh, putting yourself out there, it's leaving your comfort zone, it's taking the risks. Just like if you're gonna go in the gym, you always take a risk every time you pick up a weight that you could get hurt. It's the same thing, you gotta be ready, because that hurt can come, but there's always growth from it, there's always something you can learn. Even if everything goes sour and it completely sucks in the end, you can still grow from that as a person, and experiences are always valuable. Anyways, thanks for watching, Floss next out. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, hey buddy, hey buddy.